Imagine your body has a reset button that could clear out all the junk and rejuvenate every cell. When someone is diagnosed with a chronic disease, it can feel overwhelming, like the only solution is to rely on medication to manage their condition. But what if I told you that your body has a secret, natural mechanism capable of eliminating chronic diseases and strengthening your immune system? Your body is more powerful than you think, and when given the right conditions, it has the ability to heal itself. In this video, we're going to learn how to transform your body into a self-cleaning machine that removes damaged cells, those responsible for aging and disease, and regenerates newer, healthier ones. But first, Let's dive into what autophagy is and how it can revolutionize your health. If you've ever felt like you had no control over your health, after this, you'll start seeing how much power you actually have. If you are interested in this topic type, I am ready, in the comment right now. Just comment, I am ready. When I see your comment, I will give you a heart. And if you want to help the channel, leave a like and subscribe. It takes less than a second and help the channel a lot. What is autophagy? Autophagy is a natural process in which your cells clean out old or damaged parts to regenerate new, healthier components. Think of it as your body's personal recycling system. When your cells aren't receiving new nutrients, they kick into protection mode, breaking down their own worn-out components to stay healthy. Autophagy also helps your body expel harmful bacteria and viruses from your cells. Perhaps most importantly, it can identify when a cell is malfunctioning, such as becoming cancerous or turning into a zombie cell cells that accelerate aging. Personally, when I first learned about autophagy, it changed how I viewed my body. Instead of seeing it as something to manage with pills and treatments, I realized my body could actually heal itself, given the right circumstances. If you're ready to explore autophagy, comment, no more damaged cells. The fasting state. How to trigger autophagy. Autophagy is activated when your body enters a fasting state. But what does that mean? When your blood sugar levels drop low enough, after about eight hours of no food intake, your body starts to make changes. Around the 12-hour mark, it begins producing ketones, energy molecules produced by the liver when glucose isn't available. During this time, you'll likely experience enhanced mental clarity and reduced hunger as your body switches from burning sugar to burning fat. I remember the first time I tried fasting. At first, it was difficult, but by the second day, I started feeling clearer, more focused, and surprisingly, less hungry. Fasting was something I thought would make me weak, but instead, it made me sharper and more energized. What happens during longer fasts? As the fasting period extends, the benefits of autophagy increase significantly. After 13 hours, growth hormone levels surge, which can slow down aging and help burn fat. For men, testosterone can rise by up to 1,300% within a 15-hour fast. More interestingly, research has shown that women who fasted for just 13 hours daily had a 64% reduction in breast cancer recurrence after treatment, and that's with no other changes in their diet, just fasting. This hit home for me. In my own family, we've dealt with chronic illnesses, and knowing there's a natural way to reduce the chances of these diseases coming back was empowering. We started incorporating shorter fasts, and it gave us hope that we could do something proactive about our health. Longer fasts beyond 15 hours. When fasting extends beyond 15 hours, the real magic happens. Your growth hormone continues to increase, which is essential for staying youthful and burning fat. By 17 hours, your body starts to repair cells and remove damaged ones. At the 24-hour mark, your gut resets, and intestinal stem cells begin to repair the gut lining. And by 36 hours, your body starts to target and burn stubborn belly fat. This process was eye-opening for me when I tried it. I always struggled with digestive issues, but after doing a 24-hour fast, I felt my gut reset in a way that no medication had ever achieved. 
it wasn't easy, but the benefits were worth it. Have you ever done a fast longer than 24 hours? How did it feel? Share your experience in the comments. If you haven't, what might be stopping you? If you are ready to try out a longer fast, comment more fasting, less aging, the immune system reset, fasting for 72 hours. By the 72 hour mark, your body undergoes a complete immune system reset. This is when your body starts recycling old, inefficient immune cells and producing new, stronger ones. It's essentially a fresh start for your immune system, clearing out cells that could contribute to inflammation, autoimmunity, or even chronic illnesses. You don't need to fast this long, all the time. Fasting for three days, just twice a year, can offer these benefits. By doing this, you can eliminate damaged cells that speed up aging or even become cancerous in the future. Think of it as hitting a reset button for your immune system, giving it the chance to rebuild itself in a healthier, more efficient way. Why you should do it. A three-day water fast can be a powerful tool for long-term health. During this fasting period, your body goes into survival mode, using energy to focus on repairing itself instead of digesting food. This includes autophagy, where the body starts clearing out old cells and regenerating new ones. Fasting for 72 hours helps your immune system reset, and this can lead to a stronger defense against diseases, reduce the risk of infections, and even lower your chances of developing chronic illnesses such as cancer. Additionally, Fasting helps reduce inflammation, slows down aging, and enhances mental clarity, all while giving your body the break it needs to rejuvenate. Personally, I do a 72-hour fast twice a year, and while it's tough, I've noticed that my energy levels improve afterward, and I rarely get sick. It's become a part of my health routine, and it's reassuring to know that I'm taking an active role in my long-term wellness. How to use fasting for specific health goals The length of your fast can vary depending on your goals. A 72-hour fast, twice a year, is great for clearing out aging cells and reducing the risk of tumors. For mental health issues like anxiety or depression, a 48-hour fast, once per quarter, can help. If you're struggling to lose weight, a 36-hour fast once a month might do the trick. For those looking for a more manageable routine, a weekly 24-hour fast or daily intermittent fasting, 12 to 17 hours, can work wonders. I've had friends who struggled with their mental health, and after trying a 48-hour fast, they told me it brought a sense of clarity and calm they hadn't felt in a long time. They paired it with mindful eating and found it to be a powerful tool in managing their mood. Got a specific goal? Comment. Fasting for my health goals. Foods that enhance autophagy. To maximize the effects of fasting and autophagy, certain foods can help you get even more out of the process. Here are five that you should incorporate. One, avocados. Avocados are one of the best foods to break a fast because they are rich in healthy fats, which help the body transition back to eating without overwhelming your system. Fats take longer to digest, which stabilizes blood sugar levels and helps avoid the rapid spikes and drops that could make you feel shaky or hungry. Avocados, in particular, are ideal because they contain monounsaturated fats, which are great for heart health, and they help suppress the hunger hormone ghrelin. This makes it easier to control your appetite and avoid the temptation to binge eat after a fast. Personally, when I started using avocado to break my fasts, I noticed a significant reduction in cravings. Instead of feeling the need to immediately eat everything in sight, the healthy fat from the avocado satisfied me, and I could ease back into eating normally. This kept me from overeating and made my fasting routine more sustainable. If you're new to fasting, breaking your fast with avocado 
is a great way to stabilize your energy levels and prevent overeating, helping you make fasting a healthier and more enjoyable part of your routine. 2. Coffee Organic, mold-free coffee is an excellent tool to stimulate autophagy during fasting. Studies have shown that coffee can boost autophagy in various tissues, including the liver, heart, and muscle tissue, which helps your body eliminate damaged cells and regenerate new ones. However, it's crucial to ensure that the coffee you're drinking is high quality free from mold and pesticides because low quality coffee can introduce harmful toxins that negate the health benefits you're trying to achieve. When I made the switch to organic, mold-free coffee, I noticed a significant improvement. I felt more energized, and I didn't experience the jittery crash that often comes with conventional coffee. Organic coffee is purer and cleaner, which allows you to enjoy its benefits without the negative side effects caused by contaminants. Incorporating high-quality coffee into your fasting routine can give you a mental and physical boost while supporting your body's natural cleansing processes. Just make sure you choose organic, mold-free brands to fully reap the rewards of this autophagy-enhancing drink. 3. Green Tea If coffee isn't your thing, green tea is an excellent alternative for stimulating autophagy. Green tea is packed with antioxidants and compounds like epigallocatic and gallet, which help boost autophagy and protect your cells from damage. Additionally, green tea is known for its neuroprotective effects, which means it can help support brain health, potentially reducing the risk of neurodegenerative diseases. After switching to green tea for a while, I noticed that it helped me stay calm yet focused which made it an ideal drink during fasting windows. Unlike coffee, which can sometimes cause jitters, green tea provides a more balanced energy boost without the crash. It's a great choice for maintaining mental clarity and staying productive while fasting, and it also complements the body's natural detoxification processes. Incorporating green tea into your fasting routine can help you stay sharp, protect your cells, and give you a sense of calm energy. It has become a key part of my fasting routine, and the subtle but sustained energy it provides has been invaluable. 4. Olive Oil Consuming high-quality olive oil is another excellent way to support your health, especially when breaking a fast. Olive oil is rich in monounsaturated fats and antioxidants, which have been shown to fight inflammation and reduce the risk of diseases like Alzheimer's and certain cancers. The key component in olive oil, oleocanthal, has potent anti-inflammatory properties that can help protect your body at a cellular level. However, it's crucial to keep olive oil fresh and avoid heating it to high temperatures. When olive oil is heated excessively, it can oxidize, turning those healthy fats into harmful compounds. For this reason, I use it raw or as a finishing oil. After my fasts, I started adding a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil to my meals, whether it's drizzling it over vegetables or salads, and I noticed a difference in how I felt. My energy stabilized, and I felt more nourished, without the heaviness that sometimes comes from breaking a fast too abruptly. If you want to incorporate a powerful, heart-healthy fat into your post-fast routine, consider high-quality olive oil. Not only does it complement a fasting lifestyle, but it also helps support long-term health and wellness. 5. Turmeric Turmeric is a powerful spice with a wide range of health benefits thanks to its active compound, curcumin. Curcumin has been shown to stimulate autophagy the body's process of removing damaged cells and regenerating new ones, which helps support cellular health and longevity. When combined with black pepper, which contains piperine, curcumin's bioavailability is significantly enhanced, allowing your body to absorb it more effectively. Incorporating turmeric into my daily routine has made a noticeable difference, 
especially in reducing inflammation and relieving joint pain. As someone who deals with inflammation-related issues, I've found that using turmeric regularly, whether in my cooking or as part of a smoothie, has been a natural way to manage discomfort and improve overall wellness. If you want to give your body a natural boost while promoting autophagy, turmeric is a great option. It's easy to add to meals, whether sprinkled on vegetables, mixed into curries, or blended into a morning smoothie. Plus, with its anti-inflammatory benefits, turmeric can help you feel better physically while supporting your body's natural repair processes. Which of these foods do you already eat? Let us know in the comments how you plan to incorporate them into your fasting routine. Long-term plan for stimulating autophagy Autophagy isn't just a short-term fix, it's a long-term strategy for maintaining your health and preventing disease. If you don't actively work to stimulate autophagy, your cells will continue to accumulate toxins, accelerating aging and increasing the risk of chronic illness. By practicing fasting regularly and choosing the right foods, you can help your body stay strong, youthful and healthy.